I can sit back and say, oh yeah, such and such, I believe in you. But if you, the person who's inside of your body, if you do not believe in yourself, it's nothing else that can happen. It might as well put a fork in him, he's done. In life, you have to always believe in yourself and you have to know for a fact that you can do it. Anything that you put your mind to in life, you can do it. I guarantee you that you can do it. It's nothing stopping you. The only thing that is stopping you is you. There is no external force. The universe is not against you. The the higher power is not against you. The only person who can possibly be against you is you. Even if your family members don't agree with what you're trying to do, who cares? As long as you're not asking them to fund your endeavors and things like that, who cares what your family thinks? Good evening, and welcome to another episode of the Mindset Master Podcast. I'm your host, Tony Reed, and I'm also the proprietor of the podcast. Now, in today's episode, we're going to be talking about stop overthinking because in life if you get to doing too much overthinking you're going to be paralyzed in fear and nothing is realistically going to get accomplished or done in your life and if you want to learn more about this topic stay tuned to the end of this episode most of the time whenever we get to overthinking something what we actually are doing is we're setting an invisible enemy on ourselves in my years of experience with people and being in barbering and things like that i learned whenever somebody really gets to overthinking things they're realistically nervous it's not that they can't do it. It's not that they don't really want to do it. They're nervous about something. They can be embarrassed about how an outcome is going to be. They can have various things on their mind that would make them overthink things. When I was younger, I used to do a lot of overthinking. When me and my wife first got married, we decided to start a pet supply business. Now, I can be honest here and actually admit this, but what I was doing was I was trying to learn. I was like, oh, I got to go get this course. I got to go do this. I got to go to school for this. I got to go do that. I was overthinking. I was putting all of these fictitious enemies inside of my head that realistically should not have been there. That made it where I was paralyzed in the learning process. Now, there's nothing wrong with learning, but it's the second piece of whenever you learn something. The second piece is going to call action, A-C-T-I-O-N. I did all of this spinning my wheels. I did all of this overthinking about this elaborate business with this pet supply stuff that me and my wife was doing but I never did take the action that I needed in life to actually get the ball rolling. You can sit back and go to school all day. You can sit back and learn and and exercise your brain all day. That's okay. That's perfectly fine. You got to put forth effort. You got to put forth blood, sweat, and tears in life if you really want to achieve and really do things. And see, that's why I decided to make this episode today because I was like, man, you know what? I really want to talk about overthinking because when you get to overthinking, that will really slow you down because see in life you do not need to be slowed down it's so many variables in life that can slow us down one thing that we never need for us to be slowed down by is our own thought process our own brain patterns we don't need anything like that because if you slow yourself down if you slow your own thought process down by overthinking things you're never going to do the things that you know that you realistically can do and achieve in life how can you do it if you have so much on you that you are overthinking about. That's like my wife. She used to do a whole bunch of overthinking. I was like, babe, cut out some of that overthinking. Like, stop overthinking things. And then now, she has a successful business, but it took a long time to get to that point to where we both stopped overthinking. I'm guilty of it. She was guilty of it. And I'm pretty sure you may be guilty of it too. The first step to stop overthinking is to have that confidence, to have that courage, to know that you can do it. See, a whole lot of times when we get to overthinking things about we want to get a business started but we put all of these roadblocks up typically the person may not perhaps feel like that they're deserving of running a lucrative business if you don't feel deserving of it you will start overthinking things you'll start blowing stuff way out of proportion stuff that ain't supposed to be a certain way for some reason you'll wind up making it that way because you had a lot of excessive thoughts in your brain and the reason why you had those excessive 
destructive thoughts in your brain was because you doubted yourself. You had some kind of judgment against yourself. It could be something that you've seen in your past. It can be something you've done in your past or it can be something that you've seen around your inner circle that made you kind of be paralyzed in fear. That's going to be the quickest way to stop overthinking things is to realistically believe in yourself. The only person in life who can believe in you is you. If you don't believe in you, nobody else can believe in you. I can sit back and say, oh yes, yeah, such and such, I believe in you. But if you, the person who's inside of your body, if you do not believe in yourself, it's nothing else that can happen. It might as well put a fork in him, he's done. In life, you have to always believe in yourself and you have to know for a fact that you can do it. Anything that you put your mind to in life, you can do it. I guarantee you that you can do it. It's nothing stopping you. The only thing that is stopping you is you. There is no external force. The universe is not against you. The, the higher power is not against you. The only person who can possibly be against you is you. Even if your family members don't agree with what you're trying to do, who cares? As long as you're not asking them to fund your endeavors and things like that, who cares what your family thinks? Let mom, let dad, let granddaddy, let uncle, let auntie, let the cousins, let everybody think what they want to think. Now again, if you get to asking them for money, oh, hey, uncle, can I borrow $5,000 to get this right here going? Then that's different. But see, you don't have to need other people. See, a lot of people in life feel like they need a click. They feel like they need a committee. The only person in life you need is you. If you like this episode today thus far, please press that like and subscribe button for me. The buddy system doesn't work on everything. Now the buddy system might work if you trying to go like bulk up, you're trying to get some muscles or something like that. You want to go down to the gym and you need somebody to help you spot. Okay, you need a buddy system for something like that. But in life, to stop overthinking, you do not need no buddy system. The only person who you need is the person who is looking at this phone right now or who is listening to this episode right now. That's the only person that you need in life. As long as you know that you can do it and as long as you have your own personal self-approval, you can do and achieve anything in life. And I guarantee you that you will stop overthinking. And that about wraps it up for today's episode. Until next time, I'll catch you later.